Here's another important video from the Personal Defense Network. So let's take a look at that headlock escape now. I've got Andrew here with me in the training area. What we're going to do is we're going to look at that headlock escape. Instead of up against the wall, we're going to look at what would happen if we didn't have a wall around or if my attacker tried to take me to the ground or if I went to the ground. And we're going to use the floor just like we used the wall for that extra leverage. So we're still going to look for the key points of getting a good airway established, protecting that airway, tucking the chin as soon as we realize we're in a headlock, once we recognize that this is what we need to do is fight our way out. And then after we go to the ground, my key element is gonna to be to get my hips against his hips, get my forearm against his head, stretch him out, arch my back, and peel off that headlock. And again, get into a dominant position or at least get out of that very dominated position that my attacker had me in. So let's see how that would look. Again, it's going to start with the gesturing and the kinds of pre-contact cues that wouldn't require us to immediately take action where we still thought, hey, maybe we can get out of this. And then we're going to get caught off guard and see where that goes. As you can see, the attacker is gesturing. He's very mad. I'm trying to calm him down. As he reaches out to shove me, of course, that gives me a flinch moment. My hands come in. And then as I realize he's punching me, instead of going in any choreographed defense, in this case, let's say that I just turned my head away and cowered, brought my hands up to cover my head. He missed the punch, but it turns into a headlock. As soon as I realize I'm in a headlock, I'm going to go ahead and establish an airway, turn my head in, tuck my chin, get the pressure of his arm off if I can, reach up and grab his arm. And then I'm going to step in front of him and try to drive him to the ground. As I drive him to the ground, most attackers would think, oh great, now I've got the guy on the ground. But what I'm going to do is slip my leg out, get my leg behind his, establish a contact between my hips and his hips, take my left arm out from the headlock area, put it behind his shoulder just like we did before against the wall, place my forearm against the side of his head or his neck, extend into that greater than 90 position, and then arch my back, creating an opening for me to now attack his side, his torso, stretch that arm bar out, put more pressure on his shoulder, maybe even attack his head over my hand that's already stretched out. Either way, in this position, there's clearly much more advantage for me to attack or an opportunity for me to get away than there is from any position where that headlock was still intact or if we were still standing up. Check out more videos just like this one at the Personal Defense Network.